All right, welcome to our tip number 54. I'm Matt Dancho, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Explore package for simplified exploratory data analysis. So today we're gonna to be creating this cool thing right here, which is a shiny app that allows us to inspect our data and get to the insights as quickly as possible. So I'll explain what this does in a little bit. First thing though, first, uh, you need to get so signed up. You need to get the code. So make sure you check out this link here. It's for the RTIPS newsletter. This gets you access to all of the code that we're going to be talking about today. And today we're talking about RTIP 54, the Explore package. So you're gonna wanna open up the 054 explorer.r and that's gonna open up this over here. All right, next thing. What we're gonna be talking about is the Explore package. We've got the documentation listed here. If you wanna find any more information about this package, check this link out here. This is the GitHub repo for the Explore package. All right, to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load two libraries, the Tidyverse, which is our core package. So here, let me stop this real quick so that loads, and then the Explore package. Next, we're gonna be talking about this data set here, the MPG data set. If you're not familiar with this, uh, I use this a lot. And basically it's a listing of a bunch of different automobiles and their highway and city fuel mileage. And that's normally what we're investigating, but it's got all sorts of features like things that could relate, type of the car, compact, subcompact, two seater, SUV, etc., type of transmission, number of cylinders, year it was manufactured and so on. Um, so that's the data set. Here's how we use the Explore library. So Explore comes with this really cool shiny app. And if you just use the Explore function, it's super simple. So MPG, you just pipe that into Explore and it opens up this. Now I have to talk about how to use this. Otherwise you're just going to kind of look at this and say, Hey, this is neat, but like you really want to know how to use it. So that's what I'm going to focus on here for the next 30 seconds or so. All right, so we're gonna pick a target and target, you need to understand a little bit about your data. So if um, I know this data set and I know that the city and highway fuel economy is normally what I wanna try and analyze and see which features relate most or most correlated to that. So I'm gonna pick the, uh, I'll, ju I'll just do highway. Um, and then what we have is a variable. So this is what we call bivariate plot. So you have highway versus something else. So you can do highway versus manufacturer. That's what's shown here. Um, you also have the manufacturer kind of distribution here um, or percentages here. And then you have um, a little bit more information about the, uh, the number of unique uh, variables in the manufacturer and so on. So really what you're trying to explore is this feature as it relates to a target. Okay, so this is cool. Um, this actually does a ton of cool things here because we, we can see here, highway is clearly related to uh, the manufacturer. So different manufacturers tend to have higher or lower highway fuel economy. Um, so for example, how I would read this, Audi has a median of 26-ish miles per gallon. In their in their vehicles uh, versus a company like Land Rover which has uh, around 14 or 16 uh, miles per gallon highway fuel economy much much different so an Audi is definitely very different than a Land Rover okay next is the explain tab this is really cool because it takes the target up here and it uh, creates what's called a um, uh, a decision tree and what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell you to split it out. So when a city is greater than 16 miles per gallon, uh, our target goes uh, from 23 to 27. Um, when city or when class is two seater, compact, midsize, minivan or subcompact, target drops down to 18. So these have lower fuel economy. These vehicles have higher fuel economies and so on. Um, now, one of the problems I do see here is that city fuel economy is of course gonna be highly correlated. So you may wanna remove this from the, 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 um, the data set. So I'll do that real quick, just to show you what I'm talking about. So if I do city, uh, MPG, if I select negative CTY, and then run my explore one more time, there, stop it, it'll run it, okay. And then pick the highway again, 
So now when I go to the explain tab, now it's giving me a little bit of information that's different. It's uh, the first thing is, is when the class is, is one of these, it goes from 23 to 18 or 23 if it's, uh, if class is two seater, compact, midsize or subcompact. Uh, it's, if it's one of these, it goes to 28. If it's not, it goes to 18. If displacement is less than 3.9, if that's true, it'll go to 21. If displacement is greater than 3.9, it goes down to 17 and so on. So you can see how this changes the explanation. All right, very important. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop this and we'll go through just a few more other functions that they have. All right, so one of the functions I wanna talk about is this describe all. This is pretty cool because you can get just a quick description of each of the different features in your data set. So things like the manufacturer, it's a character vector. Um, there's a zero missing, uh, there's zero percentage missing. There's 15 different unique values. If it's a numeric value, so like an integer or a double, you'll get kind of a distribution here, uh, which is cool. Um, and then you can do describe all, describe cat. So for example, if you have just one of the, the uh, vehicles, you can create the manufacturer. Um, and this gives you that kind of nice output that shows you what are the most frequent uh, categorical uh, uh, values in here. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then you can explore all variables. So if you pick a target and you do number of columns, this is nice because it'll get you a plot here that explores all of the different features uh, in the data set. So manufacturer, model, displacement, year, cylinder, and it's all bivariate plots, meaning highway versus you know these things. So highway versus city, city versus highway, cylinder versus highway, et cetera. Um, and then you can do a, a specific bivariate plot. So say you wanna look at highway versus manufacturer, which is this one right here. Uh, you can just do that feature and that's what you get here, just that single plot. And then what's cool too is they do reporting. So we can make a report of all of this. And I'm gonna run this real quick. All right, and what's that, that's done is it's put this explore plots HTML file. So I'm gonna view this in a web browser and I have now my exploratory plot that it's output for me. So I've got things like the, uh, what are the variables and, and that describe, um, what are the targets. Uh, so this is kind of a bimodal distribution for my highway. Um, and you can see kind of there's two different like big lumps in here. So vehicles either tend to be lower in highway fuel economy or higher in highway fuel economy, uh, exploring all of the different variables and you get this in a nice convenient report. So if you like this R tip, but you want to learn more, uh, one of the things that I'm seeing with a lot of data scientists right now is that their data science progress is stopping. And this is a big problem because a lot of companies out there uh, don't want you to succeed, believe it or not. Uh, in learning data science. So um, I do have a program that I've created, but first uh, I wanna give you more information to see if that program is even the right fit for you. Uh, this is my free R masterclass, my 10 secrets to becoming a data scientist. So this is an amazing uh, 40 minute webinar where it covers all of the, the most important tools in R that were most critical. Things like Shiny, things like which language should I pick, R or Python, things like uh, what do I use for time series? So if you're interested in that, I have a 40 minute lesson. So you click this link and I'll take you to the lesson. And if you're the right fit for my program, I would love to get started working with you.